Welcome to NM Serena. In this video, let us work out some problems in arithmetic progression. Before moving into the problems, let us find out what is the arithmetic mean in an arithmetic progression. If three numbers are in arithmetic progression, then the middle number is the arithmetic mean between the first term and the last term. In this case, B is the arithmetic mean between A and C. Similarly, if there are five numbers, the middle numbers are the arithmetic means between the first term and the last term. So, if A, B, C, D, E, F are in arithmetic progression, then B, C, D and E are the arithmetic mean between the first term A and the last term F. So thus we have understood that it is easy to find the arithmetic mean between two numbers. The formula to be used for finding the mean between A and B is just x is equal to A plus B by 2. So we can find the arithmetic mean between two numbers 4 and 8. It will be 4 plus 8 by 2 that is 6. Now let us insert arithmetic mean between two numbers. We can insert any number of arithmetic means between two numbers in arithmetic progression. See, we have to insert four arithmetic means between 5 and 20 such that they are in arithmetic progression. That is the difference between all these numbers should be the same or there must be a common difference between all these numbers. So, if we insert four numbers in between the 5 and 20, there will be all together six terms in the progression. Here we get the A or the first term as 5 and we need to find six terms. All together the number of terms in the series is 6 including the first term and the last term which is given and the four terms that we have to find out. So, T6 will be the last term in the series that is 20. Sixth term is 20 hence T6 is 20. And the D or the difference in the series is unknown. That is what we are supposed to find out to get the numbers in between 5 and 20. So, the first step is applying the formula to get the nth term. And we know that T6 is 20. Let us apply the formula as 20 is equal to 5 plus n is 6 as 6th term is 20, 6 minus 1 into d. So, 20 is equal to 5 plus 5d, 6 minus 1 is 5, so 5 into d. Then, 20 minus 5, this 5 is taken to left hand side, so plus 5 will be minus 5, so 20 minus 5 is equal to 5d, that is 15 is equal to 5d, so d will be equal to 15 divided by 5 and the answer is 3. That means the difference between each terms in the series will be 3 if we insert 4 arithmetic means between the given first term and the last term. So the given first term is 5. The number that has got 3 common difference from 5 will be 8. So this is the numbers to be inserted in between 5 and 20. 8, 11, 14, 17 are the arithmetic means inserted between 5 and 20 and the total number of terms in this arithmetic progression will be 6 including the 4 inserted arithmetic means and the first term and the last term. Similarly, it is possible for us to find a group of numbers in AP if their sum is known. The formula to be used here is x minus d, x and x plus d. That is, if the sum is known, three numbers in AP can be assumed as x minus d, x and x plus d. Here, x minus d is the first term in the series. x will be the second term and x plus d will be the third term. The logic behind this is that there will be common difference between the numbers in AP. So, if x is a term, the number just before x will have a common difference of d from x. And that will be less than this x by d. So, x minus d, then 
it will be x then the next number will also be having the same common difference so that will be x plus d similarly if the sum is known five numbers in ap can be assumed as x minus 2d that is the first term then x minus d then x x plus d and x plus 2d these are the five terms so if there is x the number just before x will be x minus d and the number before that will be x minus 2d similarly x then next number will be x plus d and the next number will be x plus 2d that is how we can find the, the five numbers in an arithmetic progression if the sum is given in the same way if we want to find the number of even terms in ap then we can use the same formula as x minus 3d x minus d x plus d and x plus 3d if the sum is known four numbers in ap will be x minus 3d x minus d x plus d and x plus 3d now we can see that the number in between these two x minus 2d is not seen and the number in between these two x not seen and here x plus 2d is not seen let us see where are these numbers gone actually this is the series of numbers these numbers are in arithmetic progression there is the same common difference between all these numbers that is why we call them as in arithmetic progression now we are going to remove certain numbers in order to make the solution of problems easier if we remove these three numbers we get similar numbers x minus d and x plus 3 and x minus 3d and x plus 3d so we get similar numbers now the difference between these are the same that is why they are in arithmetic progression the difference between x minus 3d and x minus d will be same as that of x minus d and x plus d because here between these two we have removed one number and in between these two we have removed one number similarly in between x plus d and x plus 3d also we have removed one number so the difference between these two will be the same as the difference between these two hence these numbers are in ap and we are removing these numbers just to get this formula and make the solution of problems more easier now let us try to solve a question using this formula find three numbers in ap whose sum is 9 and the product is minus 165 we have to find three numbers in arithmetic progression whose sum is 9 so sum is given we have to find three numbers such that their sum is 9 and their product is minus 165 so let the numbers be x minus d x and x plus d which we have already studied if the sum is not three numbers in arithmetic progression will be one number will be x the number just before x will be x minus d the number just after x will be x plus d now what all things are given their sum is 9 so x minus d plus x plus x plus d is equal to 9 now we can cancel this minus d with this plus d see x minus d and x plus d the plus d and minus d is cancelled and 3x is remaining 3x is equal to 9 so x is equal to 9 divided by 3 therefore x is 3 if x is 3 we can know that the first number will be 3 minus d and the last number will be 3 plus d so we have to find d also now another information given in the question is that their product is minus 165 now let us try doing that the product of x minus d x and x plus d is minus 165 x minus d into x into x plus d the three terms in ap see these are written here the product of them is minus 165 so 
x is 3 that we know. From here we got x as 3. Let us substitute it. 3 minus d into 3 into 3 plus d is equal to minus 165. That is a minus b into a plus b. From algebra we know that a minus b into a plus b is a square minus b square. So 3 minus d into 3 plus d will be 3 square minus d square into this 3. That is put here. And that is equal to minus 165. Now this 3 square minus d square will be written as 9 minus d square. 3 square is 3 into 3 that is 9. And minus d square is kept as such. Into 3 is equal to minus 165. 5. This 3 is taken to that side. So when multiplication taken to the other side will become division. When division is taken to the other side it will become multiplication. Let me know. So 9 minus d square is equal to minus 165 divided by 3 and the answer is minus 55. Now minus d square is equal to minus 55 minus 9. This 9 is taken to the other side. When Plus 9 is taken to the other side. It becomes minus 9. So minus 55 minus 9 is minus 64. Therefore minus d square is equal to minus 64. Now this square is taken to the other side becomes square root. Same as multiplication becoming division and addition becoming subtraction. When square root is taken to the other side that becomes square. And when square is taken to the other side that becomes square root. So d is equal to square root of 64. Here it is minus d. Here it is minus 64. So we are going to cancel both the negative signs. Hence it becomes d is equal to square root of 64. And when we solve it, we get the answer as plus or minus 8. Square root of 64 is equal to plus or minus 8. Now we got both x and d. x is 3 and d is plus or minus 8. Now let us find the three numbers in AP. The first number may be x minus d and the second number may be x and the third number is x plus d. Let us consider x as 3 that is given and d it may be plus or minus 8. By considering d as plus 8, let us try to find out the three numbers. The first number will be 3 minus 8. Second one will be 3. Third one will be 3 plus 8. So the numbers may be minus 5, 3 and 11. Now by considering x as 3, the same 3 and d as minus 8. Let us try to solve it once again to find the numbers. It will be 3 minus minus 8. 3 and 3 plus minus 8 and the numbers will be 11, 3 and minus 5 that is same but in the reverse order the terms are the same hence the required numbers are minus 5, 3 and 11 because by applying d as plus 8 as well as minus 8 we got the same numbers minus 5, 3 and 11 only the order is changed so we can understand that the three numbers in AP whose sum is 9 and product is minus 165 are minus 5, 3 and 11. And next we can find four numbers in AP whose sum is 20 and sum of their squares is 120. We know that when the sum is given four numbers in AP can be found as x minus 3d, x minus d, x plus d and x plus 3d and it is given that sum is 20. So x minus 3d plus x minus d plus x plus d plus x plus 3d is 20. This plus 3d and minus 3d can be cancelled. Similarly plus d and minus d can be cancelled. What remains is x plus x plus x plus x is equal to 20. 4x is equal to 20. x is equal to 20 divided by 4 that is 5. So x is 5. So these numbers are 5 minus 3d, 5 minus d, 5 plus d and 5 plus 3d. 
So we have to find D. And in the question it is also given that sum of their squares is 120. So when these numbers are squared and their sum is found, it is 120. Let us square it. X minus 3D whole square plus that sum has to be found also plus then x minus d whole square plus x plus d whole square plus x plus 3d whole square is equal to 120. Each of these numbers are squared. Now let us substitute this x with 5 because we got x as 5. 5 minus 3d whole square plus 5 minus d whole square plus 5 plus d whole square plus 5 plus 3d whole square is equal to 120. This 5 minus 3d whole square is in the form of a minus b whole square. A minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. In the same manner, 5 plus d whole square is in the form a plus b whole square. And a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. Let us solve it accordingly. See, 5 minus 3d whole square is 25 minus 30d plus 9d square. And 5 minus d whole square is 25 minus 10d plus d square. 5 plus d whole square is 25 plus 10d plus d square. 5 plus 3d whole square is 25 plus 30d plus 9d square. And that is equal to 120. Now let us cancel this 30d and minus 30d. Plus 30d and minus 30d is cancelled. In the same manner, plus 10d and minus 10d can also be cancelled. Let us write down the remaining numbers that are uncancelled. The 25 plus 9d square plus 25 plus d square plus 25 plus d square plus 25 plus 9d square is equal to 120. That is given here. Now we can add this 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 separately and this d squares separately. So 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 is 100 and 9 d square plus d square plus d square plus 9 d square is 20 d square. This 100 can be taken to this side. 20 d square is equal to 120 minus 100 that is 20. Now 20 d square is equal to 20. Hence, d square is equal to 20 divided by 20, that is 1. So, d square is equal to 1. Therefore, d is equal to square root of 1. The square root of 1 may be solved as plus 1 or minus 1. Hence, d can be either plus 1 or minus 1 because square root of 1 is equal to plus 1 or minus 1. Now, we got x as 5 and d as plus or minus 1. Now we know that the sum is given. 4 numbers in AP are x minus 3d, x minus d, x plus d and x plus 3d. Now by considering d as plus 1, that is find these 4 numbers. The numbers may be 5 minus 3 into 1. This d is into 1. Then x minus d so 5 minus 1 x plus d is 5 plus 1 x plus 3 d is 5 plus 3, 1, 3 into 1 and there is 2 4 6 8 now let us do the same thing by considering d as minus 1 that is 5 minus 3 into minus 1 5 minus minus 1 5 plus minus 1 5 plus 3 into minus 1 the numbers are 8, 6, 4, 2. The same numbers but in the reverse order. Hence the required numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8 or 8, 6, 4, 2. Same numbers. Only the order is different. The numbers are the same. Hence the 4 numbers in AP whose sum is 20 and sum of squares is 120 are 2, 4, 6, 8. Now that uh, we have solved some problems in arithmetic progression, let us end this video here. We can solve other problems in another video. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe the channel.